In this video, we're going to look at anaerobic respiration. We've looked at one type of respiration before called aerobic respiration. And in aerobic respiration, glucose and oxygen reacted together to produce carbon dioxide and water. And the whole point of respiration is to release energy. So often in brackets, you will see plus energy written at the end of the equation as well. However, there is a second type of respiration called anaerobic respiration. And anaerobic respiration means without oxygen. So in anaerobic respiration, we're going to lose the oxygen from the beginning of the equation. So we start off with just glucose, and this time it's not reacting with oxygen, so it makes different products. This time, glucose makes lactic acid. Also with anaerobic respiration, you will also have energy released, which we can write in brackets at the end. This specifically is anaerobic respiration in animals. So in animals, glucose is broken down into lactic acid. However, there are some problems with anaerobic respiration. Firstly, the buildup of lactic acid causes cramp. Also, Anaerobic respiration releases much less energy than aerobic respiration. So we don't want to be doing anaerobic respiration if we can help it. Breathing in oxygen and using that for respiration in our cells is going to release much more energy. So most of the time animals want to use aerobic respiration, but when they have to, when there's a lack of oxygen, when you're not getting enough oxygen into your lungs, your body will need to use anaerobic respiration. Oxygen debt is something that can occur after vigorous exercise. Oxygen debt is the amount of oxygen you need to breathe in to break down the lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water. As we said before, lactic acid can cause cramps. So if you can breathe heavily like this lady is doing here, you can take more oxygen into your body and then that can break down the lactic acid into the normal products of aerobic respiration which are carbon dioxide and water. Oxygen debt is the reason you breathe heavily after vigorous exercise. So you're trying to replenish your oxygen levels and break down that lactic acid. Anaerobic respiration also occurs in plants and yeast, and yeast is a type of fungus. The equation for anaerobic respiration in plants and yeast is different to that of animals. We still start off with glucose, but this time the glucose breaks down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. This type of anaerobic respiration can also be called fermentation. So I'm going to use the word fermentation to discuss a few examples. Fermentation by yeast can be very useful when yeast break down glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide. In the alcohol industry, yeast ferments sugar into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Ethanol is the alcohol found in alcoholic drinks such as beer and wine. So this product here is particularly useful in the alcohol industry. In the baking industry, the carbon dioxide gas produced in fermentation helps make the bread rise. So the yeast will break down the sugar or the glucose in your bread mixture and it will produce ethanol and carbon dioxide. So in the first instance, your bread mixture contains alcohol, but as soon as you put it in the oven, the ethanol has a low boiling point, so that will all evaporate. However, the carbon dioxide product is the really useful product in the case of the baking industry because of the carbon dioxide gas that helps make the bread rise. As well as the alcohol and baking industry, fermentation by yeast can also be used in the production of some fuels. The fermentation of some crops, such as sugarcane, can be used to make biofuels, used as an alternative to fossil fuels. 
the ethanol produced in fermentation is used as a fuel. So this is the sugarcane crop. They would harvest this crop, mix it with our, with our yeast, and the yeast would break down the sugar in the crop, the glucose, and turn that into ethanol and carbon dioxide. And it's this ethanol which is used as a biofuel and it can be used to power vehicles. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.